Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and this is How to Use Blender for Absolute Beginners and welcome to episode 2. This episode we're going to have a little look at some more little features, i.e. some keyboard shortcuts, some mouse shortcuts that you can use to make things easier. We're also going to create an actual object rather than this mess that you see in front of you that we created in the last episode. So let's start with a little trick to select specific vertices at any one time. So I'm just going to pan the camera around using the middle mouse wheel, holding it down, remember. So let's click on cube over here in our outline, and then let's press tab to get into edit mode, and press A to select all the vertices, like so. So what we're going to do now is, let's say we want to select these four here, and you have everything selected. Rather than deselect everything, you can press A to make sure nothing is selected, hold down the control button, and then draw around every vertices, every vertex you want to select, like so. Now another neat little trick that you can do is once you have them selected, press E on your keyboard and you can see that they extrude outwards. So what's happened here is you've created a duplicate of every vertex you have selected and you can move it out. So if you move it like so, you'll notice that we have a blue line. But if you press Z, you can see that blue line disappears and then you can move it around a bit more. So you could do that, press Z to lock it to the Z axis and you can see, there we go. Same applies if we press X and Y, we've unlocked them. So let's press Y again and let's press X again and we can bring it like that. So you can do different things by using this method. You can play around with it a lot more. So let's do Z to lock it there. Let's get it there and hit enter. So that's a little extra thing that we can do there. So we can't really make too much from this particular shape that we've created here. We've just been playing around with the settings. So let's create something that we can use in game, maybe like a crate or a bowl or pot or something like that. So what we'll do is we'll go over here to our outline window right click on the cube and we will delete. So we'll start again with a fresh cube. Over here in your view window menu, you can see here I have create selected and I'm going to click on cube. You see the cube is over there. So let's bring it there into the middle. Let's bring it over here a little more, try and get it dead center. Okay, that looks fine, I think. That'll do. Okay, so what we want to do now is rather than have it as just some cube that we have here, we can press G to move it as well. I should have mentioned that earlier. So G on the keyboard would be able to move it freely. So we're going to use something called subdivide now. So if we go to tools, and we go to, um, in fact, we need to tab into edit mode first. So make sure you are in edit mode. Go to tools and then go to subdivide. And you'll notice we get some extra vertices appear. If we press it again, you can see it's divided once again. And you see quite a few are appearing. And finally, if we do it once again, you'll see you get quite a lot of vertices appear. This is probably too many for what we're going to do. So let's undo. So control alt and Z and let's see the uh, undo history. And then let's click on toggle edit mode. So we undo all the subdivides. Now let's use that little trick we did before. Um, let's press A to deselect every vertex. Hold control and let's draw around just the vertices we want. You can see I have that selected down there because I've just caught that. So I'm going to hold control and right click on that one to deselect. It's not going to let me. Okay, let's try drawing again. So A to make sure nothing's selected, hold control and draw around every vertex. Now let's click on subdivide and let's click subdivide again and again. So you can see we have a nice kind of grid going on here, but we don't have it on any other face because we don't really need it because this is just going to go downwards. So 
Let's uh, A to deselect everything, hold control, and let's draw around just the vertices we want. Now, we can do that E key on our keyboard, but instead of bringing it upwards, we can actually bring it downwards, like so. So let's have it about there and hit enter. There we go. So now we have something hollow, which doesn't look too bad at all. So this could be used as maybe a crate or container or something like that. So let's name our object rather than just cube. So over here on our properties panel, let's click on this option here and we can rename it here. Let's call it container. Hit enter and you'll notice down here at the bottom, it's changed from cube to container and also over here in the outline panel. So next, let's create some kind of top or lid for our uh, container. So let's uh, hit A to get off all the vertices, tab to get out of edit mode, and let's click on, for example, camera, just to make sure this isn't selected. The problem is sometimes if you have an object selected when you try to create a new one, it auto attaches it to the object you have. I may demonstrate that uh, in just a moment when we've created the lid. So make sure you only you don't have your object selected. Click on create, click on cube. Another way you could have done that, uh, as we explained last episode, is shift and A, and then you can create a new one. You'll notice over here that we have container and cube over here. So let's rename this cube down here as lid. Hit enter. And let's press G to grab our object. And let's bring it so at least somewhat closer. About there. Maybe a bit closer. We want it kind of over, don't we? Okay, so now we want to make it more like a lid. So we have to be much thinner. So let's tab into edit mode. Let's press A to get rid of uh, all our vertices selected. And let's select just the ones we want. So let's take these top four. So we can hold control, draw around our vertices, pan ourselves around, and hold control and let's shrink. Let's lock it to Y. Uh, sorry, not Y, it should be Z, shouldn't it? There we go. So we can shrink it like so to be about that thin. Oops, didn't mean to do that. So let's press Z again to keep it locked. And let's hit enter. So now we have a lid. So we don't want the lid quite like that. So maybe let's rotate it a little. So over here, make sure we're over this one here, the little cube object, so this changes all these transform. So we can change it on the Y to spin it around. So what we can do is if we can hold it like so, we can actually see it spin like so. Sorry, it should be the Z, not the Y. I'm just so used to the Y being uh, up on this. So let's control uh, and Alt and Z to undo history. And let's click on lasso select. Oh, you can see well, that's quite nice. I like that. So let's put this as zero. Enter. And I think I'm going to get the lid a bit thinner. So Z again, about there. Hit enter. And let's change it on the Z. So left mouse button changes it around. Like so. There we go. So now it actually looks like we have some sort of container in there that we could probably loot at some point. Now, the reason I have these as two separate objects now is because I think the idea of what I'm going to go for is this is a container that we can loot, i.e. when we have it in our game, we can push this lid off and it will fall off. So having its two separate objects makes it much easier in your game engine. So I'm now going to bring this down a little more. 
So let's press A to select all our vertices and let's bring it down flush with our object. There we go. So now you can see we're starting to create a nice little object here. And I suppose one thing you could really do if you wanted to, let's go one step further and let's create, um, let's create something along here with these. So let's create uh, something on our container. Let's tab into edit mode, A to select all our vertices. And let's go underneath, let's have a look, that looks fine. So let's say inside, we want to make these vertices kind of stick up a little bit, just to give it a bit of a different look rather than just a bog standard cube. So let's A to deselect all, uh, control, and let's draw around the vertices that we want. There's a couple there I haven't quite selected. So not to worry. So we can hold control. Let's undo that. That's gone a bit funny. So let's try that again. A to deselect, hold control. Carefully draw around the ones we want. Which is there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to press E and bring it upwards about there and hit enter. So now the inside of this container just looks a little bit different. Just something to play around with. And remember, you can do this with pretty much any vertex. So let's, for example, let's do it with these ones here. So take these. Nice and simple, E, and let's bring it upwards to about there, hit enter, and let's do it with this one too. Now you can see there, we've actually got our other one selected too. Did anyone spot that? You always have to be careful when you're doing it. So if we were to do it to these ones now, these ones would raise up as well. So always make sure you press A to deselect any vertices you don't want selected. So I'm going to take these ones here. You'll notice I have that selected there as well. That one went a bit funny. So let's make sure we have the right ones selected. Always take your time in Blender. I found if you rush things in Blender, it never quite goes as planned. So let's press E to extrude, and there we go. Let's have that about there. So now we have some object which is ready to go into our game world with a little bit more modification. So let's leave that there for now. We've learned quite a bit on this today, so we've actually learned to create a proper object. Feel free to go a bit further into the detail and depth of how you want to model this. So in the next episode, what we're going to do is we're going to look at some texturing. Idea is I want to get a texture on here. I want it looking pretty decent and we'll also create some material which obviously goes with the texture but we'll also look at bringing it into a game engine so we'll be exporting this object in the next episode too. So until then guys build up this object how you want put as, as many or as little vertices on there as you want but bear in mind if you have lots and lots and lots and lots it may not be necessary for an object as simple as this. So until next time, guys, thank you for watching.